Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick story on Al B. Shore. You know, I think that these Diddy stories are probably going to inundate us from now into who knows when, 2025, 2026, into perhaps he's locked up for life. So as a result, everybody is coming out the woodworks. Everybody got a Diddy story. Everybody did see, didn't see, might have saw, heard this, got information from so-and-so, so forth and so on. One of the recent people that have come out, and I read this book last night, Kim's Lost Words. Um, the Jamal T. Millwood um, is not the person's real name who put this out. Um, his name is Chris Todd. And so He's saying that he got from friends and inside people because, you know, everybody said that they got it from this source, that source, this, that, that, and the other. He got her thumbnail. He got pictures. He got videos. He got this. He got that. So um, now Al B. Shaw is coming out. And, and the words he's using is a little bit tricky. He's saying it's fabricated because, remember, there was, an, I, and I didn't get that, and I couldn't picture Kim writing this. But I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Right. And when I say writing this, I don't mean the whole book. I mean writing this portion where she tells and she claims that um Diddy and Al B. Shore were together in an intimate way. He's coming out and saying it's fabricated, it's not true. And he's also saying that for years, for years, he has been tagging different law enforcement people telling them the dangers of Diddy. So let's get into it. You remember that um, I'll be sure suffered a medical emergency. Um, that is when he was in a coma, all his organs were failing, he needed a liver transplant, he got it, and to God be the glory, he is still here. He is now a champion for, you know, just equal access to um, medical care. No matter if I make a dollar per year or if I'm a billionaire, when it comes to health, it shouldn't matter what your wealth is. You should get equal opportunity to care. And so he's a big champion for that now. He said he meditates, he prays a lot. And he said that him and Kim with good friends, not in a romantic way. Um, before she died, they were speaking to each other. And yes, she was writing a book. And then all of a sudden, all of her thumbnails, computer and everything got stolen. Um, and he's saying this book, he said, unauthorized and edit. But, so we got to look at the word. So let me go into his first post here. So this first post here, he goes, unfortunately, Kimberlina, was taken and he specifically if you notice his 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 flashing of the pictures is focused on chapter five and chapter five kind of talks about this alleged scene between him and Diddy so I'm saying this chapter five for a reason it's almost like in my opinion he's not saying all of this stuff is fabricated um but he's saying this scene between him and Diddy is, is fabricated and, and I could, you know, roll with that. Um, and, and he said, and whoever did this just wanted to further destroy his name for whatever reason, right? Um, so, and, and I'll say for the reason of he's been trying to speak about Diddy his crimes for years and he's been, he has been ignored. So, um, and he tagged all of these people in his stuff. This is actually part three, we're coming at the end, but I'll back into the other ones, right? And he goes, unfortunately, Kimelina uh, was taken from us way too soon um, before she could complete her true thoughts before this fake unauthorized edit. So is I, I feel like this is fake unauthorized edit. He didn't say, this is how I'm reading it, that all of this is fake. He's saying the fake unauthorized edit. So I'm I'm feeling like, yeah, this is part of her words, but there it has been edited to fill in some pieces that are fake, right? And specifically the piece of him and Diddy having relations, right? So this fake unauthorized edit released on Amazon with the which the dip this which the disappearance of her computer and vital evidence raises significantly more questions, right? So they're saying, and this has been out for a while now, that before Ken passed away, 
that someone burglarized her home, her computers were stolen, and um, some other stuff was stolen from her. And so they're saying that whoever stole that stuff perhaps was people that had something to do with this coming out and it being so highly edited to look make Albie Shore look a certain way, right? So, I mean, it's evident that her potential to expose the realities of her personal abuses, being drug, the sex trafficking, and the human trafficking she was privy to, akin to the brave actions of Miss Cassie Ventura, pose a threat to those profiting from such heinous activities. In a nutshell, Kimberly was allegedly taken from us because she was set on court to accomplish what Miss Cassie Ventura did by ignited the bonfire, which brings us here today with the avalanche that was brought Satan to their chambers. Let us honor the memory of Lady KP, acknowledging the strength, struggles she faced, and the truth she sought to reveal in her own personal notes, not this fake, unauthorized nonsense using my name to keep dragging me as social punishment for exposing this for years ago. There will be significant suit headed right for the heads of the responsible parties who dragged my name into this BS. Kim and I talked right up to a few days prior to her demise. She was in good health and we were in such a great friend space, reminiscing about old times, celebrating news of our son's accomplishments. accomplishments. No affair, just great fans. Hashtag warriors for Kim Porter. We must continue to advocate for justice and ensure that every one of the individuals who conspired against her are held accountable and prosecuted to the highest extent of law. Thank you to all the law enforcement agencies for their unwavering dedication to uncovering a portion of the truth. There's more. Rest in power, Lady, K P Lady KP. Your true legacy will not be forgotten. More importantly, please pray for the kids. There's no validation in my claims coming true. There has been way too many collateral, way too much collateral damage and death everywhere. Um, so he's saying that although I'm speaking my truth, um, if and when it comes out that everything I have been saying about Diddy is true, um, and he, you know, claimed there is some connection with his health medical emergency and Diddy, he's saying that um, if it comes true, it's not like it's going to be a win for me. He's he's pretty much saying it's a lose-lose for everybody because it's going to significantly hurt the kids, right? So let's go. Okay, so now Miss Porter's missing devices, allegedly already in evidence, unquestionably contain the critical evidence that has been concealed. So Albie Shaw is also saying that her devices that were stolen are with um, the FBI. They're in evidence, right? I'm convinced that evidence collaborates closely with details outlined in the recently released public indictment document. Additionally, it is pertinent uh, to note that the individuals involved in this matter may also be connected to also concealing the alleged unaliveness of several prominent artists, a situation that has left many bewildered. Yet those who are immersed in the culture and familiar with the intricacies of the entertainment industry may have a clearer understanding of the obvious. It is with a heavy heart that I reflect on the legacy of our beloved Lady KB. It is truly disheartening to think that those she considered close friends and who were comp um, financially compensated by her pre um, preparator, predator, prep, um, by Diddy, I'm going to say, okay, allegedly. OK, may have comp, um, may have conspired with the perpetrator. I got it now to obscure the truth and tarnish her name, my name and her unfinished notes with these ridiculous and unfounded narratives. The absence of Smith Porter leaves a void, depriving her of the opportunity to address these inaccuracies personally and to share her own factual memoirs, the lead in the brutal terror and madness she endured. Check all who text messages of those who serve in it. So he wants the FBI check all who text messages of those who serve in PR capacity as they have brilliantly and underhandedly crafted this fictitious story to serve service a personal vendetta. So he's alleging that um, a PR team kind of like crafted this together. 
But um, I'm not saying they did not. But the, the, the I guess where I'm having trouble with that is that it, it, if it's a PR team for Diddy, um, they implicated Diddy in a lot in here. They implicated Diddy as the one who um, wanted Tupac and Biggie gone and who actually said it according to the book. So I don't, I don't know too much. There's so much to unpack. Unfortunately, I'm the only survivor by the blessings of the medical team that initially gave up because of multiple system organ failure, septic, intubated on a ventilator for 38 days and forced to visit death's doorsteps. But the God I serve and worship had another plan. Keep in mind, this is just the G-rated version of what I endured over a decade plus to silence the OG. So he's saying over a decade, they've been trying to silence him, okay? Um, I also kept forensic records of every individual who sent who was sent my way to set me up, track me, gaslight me, and allegedly cause harm to my system. Mm. Hashtag Pete Game. For over a decade and a half, I've been posting about the tagging and uh, posting about and tagging random law enforcement agencies in hopes to protect loved ones, avoid deaths and tragedies that could have been all avoided. Despite this, I've been ignored, ridiculed, and medically silenced to cover up these crimes. You're all now aware of a very aggressive PR team and costly campaign to silence and physically harm me from exposing. Um, it's only um, aimed to prevent me from further sharing publicly the facts and insights at Lady KP shared with me during our frequent and intimate conversations and her selfless attempts to save my life by sharing frequent plans to do harm and possibly by ending my life. So um, from what I'm gathering, he's saying here that Kim Porter tried to save him um, because she might have allegedly known that there was plans by Diddy to take out, I'll be sure. I'm writing this post to informally request an investigation into the entire group of individuals who worked at or around the residence of Miss Kimberly Porter, including a publicist who is assisting dropping this. Um, it has come to my attention that these persons were also instructed to steal her computer and mobile devices, which contained her original book notes, Original notes are distinct from the fabricated BS and offensive pages circulated via Amazon, which depicts graphic sexual scenes involving me that never took place and were edited and added at the Miss, P Miss Porter's tragic unaliving. Um, I urge you to consider who authorized such a fictitious publication without categorizing it as calculated fiction. The publicists and conspiracies work in, in concert from separate camps launching this campaign, which appears to be a very personal and deliberate distraction from the involvement in covering horrific crimes, assisted in and perplexed the public for many years, which I personally experienced and cautiously deemed just a medical crisis for legal reasons until the rest of these atrocities were uncovered by authorities, making it more believable to a gullible public that has been fooled for so long. Hmm. Um, Elite Lobos um, told him, sending love, encouragement, and blessings to you and all the babies. Tr um, tragic is an understatement, brother. And here, um, I'm not going to play this, but because he, he talks mostly about um, his gala and how he's advocating for equal, equal equality in healthcare system. And someone did ask him when he went live, and this was actually live. So they said, did, did he really try to unalive you? He read the, it, but he didn't answer. Um, this is definitely a tragedy all around. And part of the tragedy is, I mean, there's many parts to it, but part of it is that Quincy is in the most peculiar situation. His siblings, their dad is Diddy. Diddy was his stepdad. Um, I'll be sure his, it's his biological father. His biological father, unfortunately, has a lot of... Um, uh, I'm going to say, I guess, I don't know if I want to use the word information, um, but a lot of, um, 
I guess I'll use the word information where he claims that Diddy has done some um, horrific crime, so to speak. So it's like, you're the brother who has siblings and there's, there, your sibling's father is the one that everybody's calling a monster. But in that bucket, my dad is actually saying that your dad is a monster um, and he has, you know, factual information. It's just a hard place to be in. This thing is very, very sad. We have to stay connected to this story. I wanted to bring this forward because many last night when I read the book, they said it's a fake. It's a fraud. Um, they don't believe it. Um, I, I, and I'm still on the grounds of even because he said it's a unauthorized edit. OK, so I'm not taking this thing as a hundred percent fake. I'm taking it as that person took the liberty, as Albie Short said, and added some salacious stuff um, to discredit Albie Short's name or whatever and put 20 on 10. This thing, unfortunately, with Diddy, if many been following that YSL case and thought that was a circus, this thing was di with Diddy is the tip of the iceberg. I think it's going to get uglier and uglier and uglier. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. I appreciate I'll be sure coming out and putting his thoughts out on this book that's on Amazon. My thing is... Um, did, he's not saying this. He's saying this is based on a true story. He's saying Kim's lost words, a journey for justice from the other side. Mm, I'm trying to think what he labeled the book as, but it doesn't really tell you the category of the book in this book. And he doesn't say, he does put in a disclaimer in there, but he doesn't say, mm, I don't know what to say. <sighs> it's a lie. Cause I'm what I'm what I'm trying to get at is if it's so such a lie and he's saying this is based on facts, can they not call Amazon right away and say shut this thing down? Cause it's all lies. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on I'll be sure coming out and saying that the book is, is it's an unauthorized edit. His words. I like to go by people's words. Let's dissect this thing. He said unauthorized edit. There's some places he said fake fabrication. There's another spot where he says unauthorized edit. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the like button. I'll see you on the next video.